Welcome to another episode of Eric Weed Whiskey Studies. This is part one on a series on sherry and sherry cast finished whiskeys. In this video, we're gonna learn about Fino Sherry and gonna do a review of the Tobamori 12 year old Fino Cask Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. But before we get into this, we need to learn a little bit about Fino Sherry and uh, do actually a tasting of a Fino. Fino is a dry, pale, white sherry wine produced within Jerez, Spain in what is known as the Sherry Triangle, which includes the cities of Jerez de la Frontera, San Lucar de Baramida, and El Puerto de Santa Maria. It is made from the Palomino grape and biologically aged entirely under a layer of floor. This cap of yeast prevents contact with the air, resulting in a yeasty saline profile with notes of Mediterranean herbs, fresh dough, and almonds. It undergoes maturation for at least two years in wooden barrels as prescribed by law, but the majority of good finos are aged between four and seven years of age. At around four years of age, the wine shows bright notes of flora and minerals, while older samples show more savory complexity with less spiky salinity. Some of the most renowned finos include Tio Pepe from Gonzales Bypass, La Ina from Lastau, and Innocente from Vadospino. It is produced in a Solaris system having different scales of crederas and gradually refreshing lower, older barrels with a part of the higher, younger barrels. A typical Fino Solera contains between three and seven crederas consisting of American oak butts. So to understand whiskeys, we need to understand everything that goes into developing the flavor profile. This includes everything from the water, the barley, the structure of the stills, and of course to the casks. So to truly understand a Fino Sherry cask, we need to understand Fino. So in this video, I'm also gonna do a review of the Tio Pepe Fino Sherry. Tio Pepe Fino Sherry is produced by Bodega Gonzalez Bypass in Jerez de la Frontera in Cadiz, Spain. The founder of Gonzalez Bypass, Manuel Maria Gonzalez Angel, named Tio Pepe after his uncle Joe, who created his pale, very dry wine in 1841. Tio Pepe is produced from Palomino Fino, a grape variety that thrives in the chalky Albariza soils of Jerez. Once in barrel, it is aged for a minimum of five years in the Solera system. It is bottled at 15% alcohol by volume and sells for about $16 for a 750 milliliter bottle. So my goal isn't to turn you into sherry lovers necessarily, but at least give you an introduction as to what these sherries are like and then see what they impart to the whiskey. So as you can see, this is a light gold color. On the nose, I get like dried apples and dried pears. There's definitely a saltiness, but I also get light vanilla as well and yellow flowers. On the palate, it is light, crisp, with really high acidity. It starts off fresh on the front with some dried apples and pears. And on the back end, it is nutty with a lot of almonds, walnuts, hazelnut, and definitely a lot of saltiness. It is light in body and has a real long finish. If you're looking to experiment with Fino Sherry, Teo Pepe can't be beat. Of course, the most important thing is, how is this wine reflected in the Tobamori 12-year-old Fino Sherry Cask Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. The Tupamari 12 year old Fino Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It's aged for 10 years maturing in traditional oak whiskey cask, then aged for two years in Fino Sherry Hogsheads. It is non chill filtered, has natural color, limited to 1,710 bottles, bottled at 55.1% alcohol by volume, and sells for about $170. So there are three things I like to take into consideration when uh, having a wine cast finished whiskey. Number one, does the wine influence make it seem like you simply dumped some wine into the whiskey? Secondly, does the wine cast get lost in the spirit so that you can't even tell you know, what type of cask was in it? I want the wine cast to show a presence. But what I really want is for the wine cask and the other characteristics of the whiskey to harmonize and come together really, really, really well. Uh, so that the whole is better than the sum of the parts. All right, so visually, this is a dark copper in color. On the nose. 
I definitely get the Fina cast notes. Marzipan, dried apple, dried pear, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of butterscotch. There's a slight sort of like doughy, fresh cooked bread characteristic and a little bit of saltiness on the palate. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. This is a really, really powerful whiskey. It is rich. It is sweet up front and dry in the back. Up front, I get the dried apples, dried pears, a little bit of butterscotch, vanilla, baking spices. About three quarters of the way back, I get marzipan, almonds, a little bit of like dried peach, dried apricot, vanilla, baking spices. It has a lot of depth, a lot of breadth, and a fantastic evolution, and a real nice long finish. This is an absolutely superb whiskey that does really well on ice or even neat. Even at this ABV, um, I'm not getting a huge bite from the whiskey. But if I put it on ice, it does really, really well. Well, what I give it in terms of a score, I'm gonna go a solid 92 points. Now, this is an expensive whiskey. It's also a limited edition, but there are some other Fino Sherry Cast whiskeys out there that are available. Other Fino Sherry Cast whiskeys to check out include the Aaron Malt Fino Cast Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, the Deanston Fino Cask Finish Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, the Kilhoman Fino Sherry Cask Matured Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, the Lafroy Karchis Fino Cask Finish Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, and another which I'll be reviewing in this series, the Tomatin 12 Fino Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. And I'm going to be reviewing a couple other Fino casks. One will be a Fino Sherry cask, and the other will be a Fino Manzanilla cask. So you're gonna to wanna to be on the lookout for those videos as well. If you like this video, I wanna ask that you subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified when I go live, and check out my other videos that I'll be doing in this series on Sherry and Sherry cask finished whiskeys. And finally, I wanna thank all my Patreons for supporting this work. Until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.